Oh, yeah, hello. Uh, apparently, YouTube has spawned a new trend for people who think they are like the most clever people online. And it goes kind of like that. Their channels will start to have an apparently controversial opinion and then slowly explain why it is actually the reasonable one. And you see, I'm not sure where these people are coming from, but most of the stuff they are talking about is common sense already. Like, if, if a normal person sees some crazy people talking about how, how, how peop how like certain groups are not equal to others, and they are actually equal, they, they just say, well, these people are idiots, I'm not gonna listen to them. But um, these, there, are, there are a few channels who make it their point to make videos and just point it out as if uh, you are an idiot and don't, don't know what, what's going on. So yeah, here's some offenders of this trend. Uh, let's start. Yeah, here we have some guy doing fun science videos from time to time. He actually has a real job. And recently he started to upload some tons of filler videos about some crazy woman in the USA on college grounds mostly. Well, I never see them in Europe anyway, so I'm not sure. And, and they con their way through life. I mean, I can see how it's important to fight people who spread so much misinformation on a daily basis. And... Uh, what this guy is doing, he's just recycling the same content over and over again. And it goes to the point where in one video he just argues one point and then he repeats the point with different words over and over again. You will see it later. And, you know, he, he does a 10 minute video and you could have just explained the point in a 2 minute video. And it, it's really not fun to watch after like the 50th video or so. Well, he has 100 videos about this feminism stuff already. And each video gets 200 to 500 uh, views per video at this point anyway. And, uh, you know, this stuff is rather profitable because each of his videos is monetized. So I guess we, we can see why why he's doing it. And, and recently started a Patreon and some Kickstarter to buy an infrared camera. Well, I'm pretty sure he could have just bought it anyway. Well, either way. Uh, this guy is just pandering to people with no real life and uh, they, they seek confirmation about their superior intellect for detecting uh, feminists talking stupid shit like every other normal people can, every normal person can. And I mean, if I wanted to listen to some guy talking about the same stuff every week, I would go to, to the church every Sunday and listen to the clergyman. So here's one of his videos. Uh, let's count how often he repeats his point in just one video. And that's the woman that feminists have financially re-elected to do more feminist research. And in her latest video, she's taken stupidity to a new level because of sexism or the patriarchy or the male gaze or something. And now, after that, feminists have given her another $200,000. It's a level of public stupidity that beggars belief. It's idiocracy levels of stupidity. I mean, I just sit here in despair for mankind, having watched dumbass feminists give Anita another $200,000 for that shit-eating grin of the perpetually baffled. I've watched the government to start a crowdfunder of my own to get a thermal camera. About 5k gets me something cool. About 30k gets me something with which I can create beauty and make really cool videos. So this is a video how some prominent feminist con artist is talking about how women should like sit like men. It's pretty stupid. But my point is, um, in this one video, which is uh, 10 minutes long or so, uh, he, he talks about crowdfunding four times and one time would have been enough. He talks three times about oh, how this stupid idiot woman give exterminous feminists so much money. Three times in the same video in ten minutes. And then he talks about his own crowdfunder, which I mean it's not bad. But he could have just said, why are these stupid women give a feminist like 200,000 money, 2,000 uh, euros again. Uh, and um, I want to prove a point here and start my own Kickstarter. That's how he could have done it. Instead, he talks about it three times. 
You see, it's not the, as if you can't be interesting by recycling the same content over and over again. There's actually a pretty cool channel I found recently about this feminism topic stuff, if you're interested. It's called uh, Wrecked Feminist Videos, and he just takes clips uh, mostly about that Milo guy, and <laughs> yeah, well, it's pretty fun to watch. And, and then he puts in these MLG montage stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun to watch. I mean, it's always the same, but you just see it's like <laughs> these, these animations about the sniper and then shooting confirmed kill. It's really fun. I would recommend you watch that stuff. Uh, it, it's way better than listening to some some guy talking about the same stuff over and over again without uh, 420, 360, no scope, MLG action in between. So yeah, either way, let's get to the next guy. So this channel is called I Hate Everything. And it's kind of a clickbait channel for people who don't like clickbait. And it goes kind of like that. You pick the most easy thing to hate, then you make a video about it, and wow, everyone hates it too. What a surprise, and you got 1 million views. I mean, what kind of stupid is that? It prides itself of being controversial, and it just common sense what that guy's talking about. You know, just because you say something which everyone knows already, uh, it doesn't mean you are a special snowflake. And I would consider this channel to be one of the prime examples for an echo chamber. Uh, well, that is after Reddit, of course. So let's take a look at one of his most recent video called I Hate Superhero Movies. I saw Batman v Superman. I don't care about superhero movies anymore. People are more passionate about superheroes than they are anything actually important. And I know a lot of people can't separate or rationalize criticism of a product if they're passionate about it. Also, a lot of you are fucking stupid idiot children who don't know any better. So please be well aware that when I talk shit about these movies, it's not a personal attack on you, okay? I'm not saying you have to agree with me, but this is my video on why I'm sick to death of superhero movies. What a great way to start a video. Uh, first he says, I hate superhero movies, and in the next birth he's talking about how you shouldn't judge him for having such a controversial opinion, never heard before, uh, since it's just his opinion. W what, what stupid bullshit. You know, there are many people who don't like superhero movies because they don't like this unrealistic weird movie with only action. And on the other hand, we have people who like it because it's unrealistic action with fear was destroying cities and stuff. And my real problem with, with this video is that he's uh, like implying that everyone thinks the same way he does, even though he has the disclaimer at the beginning. Um, yeah, um, take a look regarding that uh, throughout the scenes I'm going to show you. And let's get to the next scene. The lack of any dramatic tension makes each new release more and more boring and predictable for me. It's partially the advertisement's fault. I'll certainly enjoy sitting around in the theatre waiting to see Spider-Man jump on the screen. Like you did in the trailer. That was a neat surprise that would have been much better to see in the movie. I can't wait to see the scene that ends with the Silver Iron Man getting hurt. It's gonna be so tense knowing that he's gonna get shot out of the sky. It's really gonna make me question what's gonna happen next when I'm watching that scene unfold. Or what about knowing that all these actors have multi-picture contracts for endless sequels? Meaning I never have to fear for their characters because I know they're gonna be fine no matter what. Yeah, there was another great scene from the video. Uh, uh, he's talking about how predictable superhero movies are. And I mean, these superhero things and Marvel, they exist for like 60 years now and everyone already knows about everything about the characters. So, uh, you know why people go into superhero movies? They want mindless fun. Okay, they go into the movie one time, they see, well, there's fucking Spider-Man in here, I can go in there with my kids, or I can go in alone, or I can go in with my friends and have a good time, and then we go home and play some video games. You know, the people don't try to be artistically enriched, they just want to have fun. And, uh, you know, if, if you just say, I hate superhero movies, and I, but I actually have fun watching them, then you don't hate superhero movies. So the, the title in itself is already misleading. It, it, it makes no sense to me to, to, to do this video. I mean, everyone knows already that superhero movies are just... Well, I go there to have fun to watch. And uh, yeah, well, let's get to the next scene um, before I, I get off topic again. 
God. Then leaving out the fucking embarrassing failure that was Sony's attempt at a standalone Spider-Man universe with the repulsive, amazing Spider-Man 2, which hands down is one of the most bafflingly terrible products I've ever suffered through. Seriously, fuck that movie. I know it has a bunch of fans who flock to defend it, but I don't care. It's actually so bad that it's fucking hilarious. I'd list off everything that doesn't work about it, but it'd be easier to just tell you the things that do work and leave it at that. <laughs> Nothing works, I'm serious. It's probably my least favorite superhero movie ever made. Now this scene kind of shows what's wrong with these controversial and I hate videos. Uh, he's just talking 30 seconds about why this particular movie is really bad. And, and he could have just said, I don't like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because of its production value. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people who went to the movies and just watched it without some some guy telling him telling them that uh, superhero movies are stupid would have enjoyed it so i'm i'm not sure what what the point of the scene in particular is but uh, yeah let's i will show you one last part and then we go to the next guy not me. Leaving out the failed Sony Spider-Man universe, DC is easily in the worst position at this point, and they only have two movies as of right now. Everyone hates Man of Steel. I don't like it as a Superman movie. I asked on Twitter if you think we're getting sick of superhero movies yet, and from over 16,000 votes, 37% of you said yes, which admittedly is probably skewed because of my audience most likely being a bunch of cynical whiners like myself. So here we have a great uh, scene. Uh, it's actually two scenes. Uh, first he says, uh, everyone hates Superman, as if everyone does, but he's just trying to get his viewers to, like, affirm that they are, like, correct and stuff, and uh, his this controversial opinion is actually real and, and justifiable. And in the next scene, we're seeing his vote, and he actually admits, oh, well, it's probably skewed because of my audience. And um, this is just pure pandering to people who think they are like the most clever people on the internet. And totally disregarding people who just, you know, expand before I go to the movies to have a fun time with friends. So here people are made believe that they are like super special. And this is just the bullshit about these controversial opinion videos. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna end it here. The actual video is of course much longer. Um, it's in the description, but let's get to the next one. So the last guy I want to talk about is Grade A under A. Uh, you think it can't get worse, but here we are. Uh, this guy panders to pseudo-intellectuals and is the hero of Reddit, apparently. I'm pretty sure he's just paying some people to virally advertise his channel every chance uh, they get. Uh, I mean, I, I don't go to Reddit, so I, I asked my friend about it. And um, well, I gotta gotta advertise my channel somehow, right? Uh, so right, um, this this guy doesn't only make I hate videos as explained before, but it's also talking in the most obnoxious shouting voice while doing an animation with 60 frames per hour. It it's really not fun to watch. So uh, he's being praised for having interesting opinions. Well, that's on Reddit at least. But it, it, it's, again, just common sense. So let's just jump right into a video of office uh, from three months ago. It's called Things I Find Stupid. Here are some things that I kind of hate, at least a little bit. Changing, and from the corner of my eye, I catch a glimpse of Grandad over here, who thinks that drying his hair, of which he barely has any in the first place, somehow takes priority over covering his meat and two veg. Listen, old man River, you get your out of my face and put your underwear on ASAP. So yeah, I shorted this clip to like um, from one minute to 20 seconds so I can talk longer, actually. Yeah, so he talks about how man, he finds stupid that old men are like naked when they shower. Okay. This just... You know what normal people would do once again? They would be like, hey, um... Could you cover up, please? And the old man would be like, Oh, I'm sorry. And you're like, sorry for what? <laughs> Damn, I, I had to do it. So, yeah, that's how it works usually. You don't need some, some video guy saying how he hates when that stuff happens. You just ask the old guy, Hey, uh, could you could you cover up, please? Um, I'm feeling really uncomfortable. And if the old man is like a really idiot, then everyone around him would be like, well, that guy is weird, and then you just ignore the old guy. I don't know what the point is here.
When people make comments on conditions for when you can eat certain foods. Okay, what I mean by this is things like, Oh my god, you're eating ice cream, but it's winter. It's too cold to have ice cream. Or something like, Oh my god, you're eating cereal, but it's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's too late to have cereal. And then she got this like crepe over here. She eats it at like midnight. It's yeah, fucking weird. It's so good. It's just a weird thing to eat later on. <laughs> So after this clip he talks about, talks one minute about how stupid it is that people ask him such a question and I really don't get it. You know why people ask uh, ask you stuff like, hey man that's weird, why are you doing that kind of stuff? Well it's to start a conversation. You know what are good small talk conversation starters? Uh, well the weather or the ludicrousy display last night and of course, hey man why are you eating ice in winter? I mean, perhaps they like you. Like, oh man, I want to be friends with that guy, so let's start a conversation. And I mean, if you're being asked, hey, why are you eating the slime ice uh, at this time of of uh, day or this time of year, uh, you could, could you could follow up with, well, I really like the slime ice and the taste of it. And then you can start talking about your favorite ice cream sorts and then uh, drift off into having sex. What? No. Okay, so anyway, uh, I really don't get get uh, his point here. And, uh, you know, you have to imagine, like, in real life, a situation like that. And uh, you ask someone, hey, why are you eating pancakes now? And then he starts uh, screaming at you how, how, it's, uh, how he can do whatever he wants with his life. It doesn't make a good impression, does it? People who use the word motherfucker when talking about themselves. I'm one badass motherfucker, man. Do, do you know what that means? Oh, wow. What a funny way to prove a point here. Do you, do you even know what that means when I say I'm a badass motherfucker? Ha, you fuck your mom. Ha, ha. You fuck your mom. You fuck your mom. Na, 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 na. You nasty bastard. Why would you say that? Why would you admit that? I think we can all agree here, right? There is absolutely nothing badass about fucking your own mother. You know, this is the same problem as that I hate video guy before. Uh, he's just assuming everyone thinks that way. Perhaps uh, he should just start studying his own language. I live in Europe and I, would, I, I understand how the niggas in the USA use slang. And it is not particularly bad. I don't know. Oh, we can all agree that fucking your own mother is bad. Yeah, of course we can agree, but that's not what it means when someone says, I'm a badass motherfucker. This is just so idiotic. I, I don't know how this guy gets 2 million videos, 2 million views per video. I really don't. Well, I actually do, because he's just um, taking the controversial opinion and then he makes a shout fest out of it. Oh, well, either way, let's get to the last guy. And then we are done here. Me. You know, maybe he's such an idiot. He makes video a video about um, how people who think they have controversial opinions and then he's such a hypocrite and mentioning how one guy does take uh, mention something three times in the same video and then after that he immediately says um, the same thing three times with different words. Take a look at that clip gets me something with which I can create beauty and make really cool videos. So this is a video how some prominent feminist con artist is talking about how women should like sit like men. It's pretty stupid. But my point is, um, in this one video, which is uh, 10 minutes long or so, uh, he, he talks about quote funding four times and one time would have been enough. He talks three times about oh, how this stupid idiot woman give extremist feminists so much money three times in the same video in 10 minutes yeah so here i am doing everything i can holding on to what i am put in uh, uh, you know that kind of makes this whole video really hypocritical and this i really can't support uh, maybe doing that kind of stuff so he puts himself at the end of this very video just just so he can receive some sort of immunity on any sort of criticism and and that's not really how you do it in, in on YouTube so uh, yeah thank you for watching and goodbye oh